Hi guys, in this tutorial I am working on watercolor board and as you can see I have printed out my reference uh, photo just on plain paper and then I put uh, the red Sorrel underneath that and um, traced it onto the board. Um, the reason why I've got the photo reference taped to the board is because you can flip back and forth uh, while you're airbrushing to see like if you got your color right if you got your angle right um, what you're doing wrong because it it's uh, traced as off of the photo itself so I'm just kind of showing you where I'm trace taking a pencil and tracing around it but you'd really want to use an ink pen because with an ink pen you can see uh, where you've actually traced where with a pencil it's kind of hard to do that now um, in this reference uh, you would have wanted to uh, you know erase a little bit of that dark red because you don't want the dark red on there and the reason why I grabbed the watercolor board is because I noticed it was so smooth and it wasn't it didn't have the little uh, crevices in it like a canvas board does but then I found out while airbrushing the reason why most people don't use the watercolor board but I'm going to have to finish it on here but I'm just letting you know don't uh, uh, don't do watercolor board with this photo because the reason is it's very hard to erase and it kind of uh, since it's watercolor board it soaks up the paint so it's going to soak it up and spread out so um, it's, you have to be very very careful and if you're not an advanced airbrusher it's going to be very difficult for you to do so just work on a canvas board that's been gessoed or a panel board is my choice that I usually use is aluminum panel boards um, I kind of punch out some holes on a piece of paper and I kind of mix my color to match like the I'm showing you the yellow in the background I want to do that first and really could have sprayed that before I traced it which is a step that you can do to save yourself some time is go ahead and spray that yellow color in there before you actually trace it on your board but um, I mix my color to match what I'm seeing on the photo reference. Now sometimes I might go a little darker in a color or something because I want it to pop out a little bit more, but most times I keep pretty close to the color I'm looking at. And the background is kind of fuzzy anyway, so you don't want to be so strikingly sharp. And I am using a just a piece of paper that's got a straight line on it to kind of uh, show in the yellow highlights here and there and really you can take a ripped piece of paper uh, to spray in some of the background areas there so it's not so short sharp and then of course there's some uh, grayish blue high uh, shadows of trees in the background too so we want to keep in mind what we're doing i did not tape off these birds uh with um frisket film oh my goodness i always have brain farts age i think <laughs> but anyway um sometimes you i have been known to um lay it all out on frisket film and then cut around it but since the background's blurry and the birds are going to be the sharpest point i'm going to try and do this freehand which mostly i am a freehand airbrush artist but uh to do realism you about have to have some stencil help here and there to make to make things pop out and look real so bear with me we're going to work together here so um I have mixed my color and I have used uh, yellow orchid and uh, just a few drops of yellow orchid and uh, probably 25 drop now 20 drops of uh, white and I'm coming in here and 
uh, spraying in here and there in the background. So, you know, uh, get your board or whatever you're going to work on. Spray in this yellow color first. Just all over the bar board. Now, you want to be light on it. You don't want to be dark at all. And then you can trace the birds on there and, and look to see where the yellow is a little darker. And then you can just kind of go over a second, a second time. And I am spraying a little bit of the yellow in this one bird because the uh, male bird is actually, um, or the female bird is actually a little, little yellow breasted more, <coughs> more than the male. And these are um, red cardinals that we'll be working on and cherry, cherries with uh, ice uh, on them because it's snowing outside and got drips of ice there. And uh, we're really going to try to do realistic on the birds. But again, um, I'm working on a watercolor board and... Uh, I think I'm going to get surprised on this, and it may not be that I may not like it at all. I may end up running my whole picture, but I already know I have to be extremely careful. So um, bear with me on this piece. But if you want to do it with me, go ahead and print out the uh, photo reference. It is on the community link on the YouTube channel. And you print that out and then get you this is a 12 by 16 board and go ahead and put it on there and lay it out and trace it out if you have red surreal paper if you don't you can use uh, you can use carbon paper I guess if you have to but uh, you don't want to press hard at all but surreal graphite paper um, you can use a grid also to trace your reference on here. You can project it. Uh, there's lots of ways to put it on there. I just chose to do it this way because it's more accurate. And sometimes my projector shakes a little bit, I guess, from the fan running on it. And uh, you can get in trouble. I'm pointing to show you that if you use your finger to kind of guide yourself where you're at and you look at your photo, I have another photo reference off to the right hand side that is printed on a photo glossy uh, sheet of paper and it pops out the colors a little bit more than what the regular plain paper does and I'm looking at it as I guide my finger to show where I'm painting. That way I don't get off any and um, I'm using a kneaded eraser to erase some of that red on that bird there as you can see I kind of got a little dark and some of that's for you guys so you can see what I'm doing but mostly if you're doing it for yourself you really don't want to press so hard to get those dark red lines you just want barely enough line to where you can see it They say the cardinal always shows up when someone passes and uh, you know I, I got a little story to tell you <laughs> my husband lost his mother and uh, we were both sitting in our chairs drinking our morning coffee one day and this uh, red cardinal just kind of hits the window and flaps its wings and kind of stares in the window looking at my husband then it lands on the uh, like a little bush we had outside stayed there for the longest time just looking at him and then he just flew away and I'm like whoa that's because they always tell you that but you you know it's a bird but who knows strange supernatural strange things happen sometimes we don't know God's workings do we sometimes our human minds cannot comprehend things that uh that God would use to work.
This seems a little dark, but we're going to be coming in with some um, bluish gray for the trees. And then I will actually be spraying a little white over that to kind of make it uh, blend out and kind of not so sharp. So, you know, it's... And it's not going to be 100% like where the trees are at. You know, art is, you know, you, you uh, put your own stuff in there. I don't ever copy anything exactly the same because I just don't think it's, you know, we're not, we're artists. We're not supposed to do, we're supposed to do our own thing, right? And I'm putting a little bit of that in the front of this bird here because... I'll be laying red over it, and this area right in here needs to be popped out a little bit brighter. So that's why I'm doing this. Cold today, getting ready for class tonight. I have 13 coming, not for airbrush class, for um, just fun, I guess, paint party stuff, you could call it, just uh, on canvas with the brush. I do air brushing classes too, but uh, they are a little bit more. I, I usually only like to have four to six for that because I, I like to give time to my students, and uh, it takes that. And I'm still learning. We all, just like in life, we learn as we grow. We learn as we live. I used that electric razor to see if I could take off a little bit uh, on the end of that beak there that was too. This is where I found out watercolor board is not going to be good for erasing. And then I'm like, oh, I've already came this far. What am I going to do? Well, I'm going to be really careful. Which means I'm going to spray at a very low amount of pressure when I start to do these birds. Thank you for watching, guys. Go ahead and get your thing lined out and sprayed your background in and come back.